live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2016. Brought to you by AWS and its ecosystem partners. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. And we're back. I'm here with Jeff Frick, and happy to welcome back to the program uh, multi-time CUBE alum, Ronan Schwartz, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Data Integration and Cloud Integration and Informatica. Ronan, great to see you. Great to be here, great to join you again. So, you guys have been an AWS partner for many years, uh, integrate with so many different services that Amazon has. Um, let's start off, I mean, if you listen to the keynote this morning, boy, there's a lot of new features all the time. You know, we kind of in the analyst community sometimes are like, how can customers keep up with it? As a partner, how do you keep up? How's that, that cadence between you and them and the relationship? Um, so basically inside Informatica there is a dedicated team that their job is actually they better watch for everything that is coming uh, up in you. We are actually working very, very tightly with AWS, which means that we meet with them on a weekly basis, R&D to R&D, trying to basically figure out what are the best integration points. How can we best support customers in this uh, fast journey that they're leading to move customers into the cloud? So how, how do we do that? We do it with a lot of hard work. <laughs> All right. So. There were so many things, I, I, I want to get your take. I saw you, you were watching it, you tweeted out a bunch of stuff. You know, was it the bouncy Larry Ellison head and uh, you know, all, all, all the pokes at uh, you know, licensing uh, and, and, and Oracle or some of the announcements uh, from Amazon themselves that jumped out at you? Um, I think there is, a, there is a lot of exciting announcement that came out. Um, um, I, I think the main one is that data and customers are moving to the cloud. And whether it's with the Larry Ellison image or not, the fact is that the data stores of the future are going to be in the cloud. And for me, as a, as, as, uh, from the Informatica perspective, it's a very exciting time because when data moves, there is a lot of opportunity. There is a lot of opportunity to give new value that didn't exist before. There is a lot of opportunity to do more for our customers and so on. And the fact that um, um, it's, it's available in a much cheaper price is making it even more attractive for the customer to do that. And I think that's where the blink blink to Oracle pricing and so on is, is probably coming from. So there's an interesting nuance on kind of where data lives and we saw kind of a maturation this year from Amazon talking about hybrid. I mean, we know things like IOT, a lot of the data is going to be at the edge. I can't necessarily move that. Moving data is hard, so you know, what, what does that mean to the customers you're talking to? How does that play into kind of your business? Um, even the word hybrid has been changing, uh, in, at least in my conversation with customers. What I've seen changing is, they're no longer talking about hybrid as just uh, on-premise and cloud. Now hybrid is also multiple clouds. And the world that we're living on is a world of multiple clouds, and one of these clouds just happened to be an on-premise, private type of a cloud. And most of the customers that I work with, they are definitely in a hybrid environment. Some of them are moving faster to the cloud, but in that case, they're moving to multiple clouds in, in, in many cases. It actually opens a lot of opportunity, but it also opens a, a lot of challenges. How do I manage data that is actually in different places? How do I make sure availability is, availab availability is as high when I have less control? Security, privacy, different laws and regulation in different places. But above all, I think that the pricing in the cloud have, have driven a lot of, uh, uh, is actually, contributed to the increase in the amount of data that companies are collecting, which is opening a huge opportunity, but at the same time is opening a lot of challenge. It feels, creating a lot of challenge. It's kind of like the old days of, of the OS, the OS and the memory. And you know, Intel would ship a bigger chip and then Microsoft would eat more of it up in the, uh, in the OS back in the early PC days. But, but it's a benefit and, and, and they are keeping up and it does open up so many more opportunities if you have all that data available, both your own, as well as somebody else's, that you can connect via APIs, which you can't do unless the stuff's readily available. Yeah, I, I think you're calling out a, a really um, blessed cycle that is happening. There is more and more technology available in the cloud. What used to be a very uh, small platform as a service capability has become a huge set of capabilities that can actually effectively compete with anything that was available on premise, anything that was available in a perpetual way, and this is really opening a whole new door for innovation, a whole new door to do things you couldn't do before, and I think customers are really doing that, which is really exciting. And, and, and it feels at this show, 32,000 people, that, that there's a tipping point, and there was 20,000 last year. 
It, it just feels, I mean, you've been involved with, with this for a long time, but it feels like something has changed in the air between last year and this year. Yeah, I totally agree. I actually had the privilege in the first um, reInvent to be on stage and uh, I kind of share a new product that Informatica have released back then that was running on a, on a, on a, on a dupe, and actually on a dupe on, in, in the Amazon environment. Um, so we kind of presented with MapR and with the AWS folks. And back then it was 4,000 people. We were sitting in a room that was fully occupied with 200 people and we thought like, wow, that's a lot of people coming to this event. Um, I think the tipping point is not just the amount of people that come to the event, it's actually what they are doing. And they're doing real project and a lot of these projects are with data, with analytics. Um, it was really exciting to see uh, Andy Jesse mentioning some of these new analytics capabilities that are available right now, the type of databases, data stores, the amounts of data that people are moving. Um, I, I, I agree with you, I think we have crossed the tipping point here. And what about on the customer side? What do you see from kind of the customer side in terms of this cloud adoption thing? Um, I think we're seeing, uh, uh, I think, three types of customers that are adopting the cloud. I, I, um, at least my experience is that the top use case is still doing new things that they couldn't do effectively, cost effectively, performance effectively on premise that they're doing in the cloud. We are seeing customers that are basically uh, lifting and shifting, meaning that they do the same thing that they did on premise and moving it into the cloud, and customers that are lift, lift, lifting and shifting and optimizing. So they're not doing the things the same way, they're doing the things in a better way in the cloud. So between those that do just the minimal, which is run similar things in the cloud, those that run things better in the cloud, but still in the same use cases, but still I think the most common scenario is people that are doing bigger and better things in the cloud. Ronan, could you speak to us about just your customers, you know, how many have adopted uh, you know, cloud in general? Uh, how many are you working with Amazon on? Uh, any kind of you know, metrics you can share as to kind of the, you know, the activity and the, the pace of growth? Um, gl gladly, so um, we in Informatica Cloud, we're seeing a, a very, very fast growth for multiple years now. So very much like, um, it was funny because the number that I think uh, Andy Jesse shared was slightly above 50% growth uh, year over year, right, right. which is actually identical, the 54% is identical to the growth that Informatica is seeing in our cloud business, which is definitely uh, um, is higher than the, than the growth that we're seeing with the on-premise software. So much, much faster growth in the cloud, across the customer and so on. And the second part is the growth within the customer that we already have in how heavily is their usage. So the usage of data in the cloud in Informatica have grown 300% year over year, um, just from last year to this year. So more customers, each one of them is using significantly more data. Um, I had the privilege in uh, Informatica world to have with me on stage Assurian. Assurian is one of these uh, insurance company that insure all of our mobile devices. So my iPad is definitely insured by insurance that I bought from Apple, but the second insurer is actually a company like Assurian. They're able to actually analyze information from hundreds of countries, thousands of different vendors in the cloud using um, basically AWS, and they actually told their story. They're still doing on-premise some of their regular analytics and their accounting and things like that, but they're actually calculating the new business, they're optimizing their models for insurance only, only in the cloud in a, in a massive scale. Right. Um, so definitely something that a lot of our customers are doing. Assurian is just one example. As a longtime partner with Amazon, I'm curious how you look at just how, how far they expand and move into different markets. Uh, you know, this morning, there were a number of companies that you look at and you say, oh, Amazon just announced something that's going to you know, take away a big part of your marketplace. Tomorrow, you know, Werner Vogels is going to get on stage, more are going to be disrupted. Uh, you know, Amazon keeps kind of moving that. So you know, how is the partnership, how do you look at that uh, kind of tension uh, as it moves forward? I think the good thing for Informatica is that in Informatica in, in all of its years was living in a competition environment. Um, in the on-premise world it was with the Microsoft and, and SAP and Oracles of the world and in the cloud side it is with Microsoft again and AWS and Salesforce and so on. Informatica is offering a best of breed technology for data management and we totally uh, expect that the platform as a service vendor will have overlapping capabilities with Informatica. That would not change. 
Our goal is actually to deliver the customer a, a broader leading offering so that if they want to do the advanced complex things, if they want to do it across clouds and across on-premise and cloud, they will choose Informatica to do that. So I think we're feeling very confident in the partnership. We're feeling that the partnership is very, will, is very tight. Uh, but we are totally living in, a, in, a, in the expectation that there will be overlap in the competition and users within the AWS environment, users that are focused on, uh, on a certain type of user, more of the developer, the AWS developer, they will prefer to use the AWS offering as a standalone. We believe that enterprises, companies that want to have their IT optimize their operation, et cetera, they will choose Informatica or, or similar offerings in the long term as well. I want to give the opportunity, uh, and any big you know, news uh, for, for, from you guys, uh, you know, things that you know, you're especially excited to share with your users. So we're actually announcing in this show uh, um, a lot of new capabilities that are available on AWS. Um, we're in the stage that all of Informatica products are working on AWS, and what we're doing and pushing very, very strongly is availability of our offering in the marketplace, so that customer can consume it as they go very easy start point in one click. And very specifically in this event, we're also announcing the Enterprise Information Catalog. The Enterprise Information Catalog, available in one click from the AWS Marketplace, will allow customer to look into their whole information assets. Not just those inside AWS, but those inside AWS on-premise and other clouds. And that will make it very easy for the customer to identify the data that they want to move to the cloud. What's the most effective way to move the data to the cloud? What do they want to keep on premise? What is the security risk? And other things. So these are some of the announcements that we're making uh, here in this event. There is also another announcement about uh, AWS recognizing Informatica as a leading uh, partner within the public sector. Um, and there is a few other uh, there, there is a lot of other capabilities. I do encourage your, your viewers and our customers uh, to come and see us in the booth um, here in the event. All right, well, Ronan Schwartz, really appreciate you coming and joining us. I uh, look forward to catching up with more of you. And uh, I believe it's May 2017, Informatica World 2017. That's correct, All yes. right, and our audience can look forward to having theCUBE at that event too, so thanks so much. We'll be back uh, with our wrapping up our programming, one more guest here at AWS. Reinvent 2016 from Las Vegas. You're watching theCUBE.